Hi, my name's Al and today I'm going to show you how to bleed your Formula C1 brakes. You don't need a lot of stuff to bleed your Formula brakes. You will need some DOT4 fluid. It has to be DOT4. You can't use any DOT5.1, otherwise you'll have problems with your brakes. You'll need the pad spacer that comes with your brakes. If not, I'm sure you can find something of a, a similar thickness. You'll need a T10 Torx key and a Formula 2 syringe bleed kit. The rest of the stuff you need is just general stuff like rags, so you shouldn't have any problems there. Formula recommend that you take the brake off the bike completely, but sometimes that's not convenient, so you can do it on the bike. You just need to be careful with spilling fluid on stuff. What you do need to do, if you do do it on the bike though, is turn the lever around and mount it like that so you can get to the bleed port. If you're doing it off the bike, then get an old handlebar, pop it in a work stand and mount the lever onto that. Starting at the caliper end, we've got to make sure that we've got some new unworn pads in there. They can be pads that you use just for bleeding, or you can risk it with the ones that you're going to ride with. Obviously if you do get fluid on them, they're not going to work properly. So you need to be really careful or have a spare set. You need your pad spacer, pop that in between the pads. And you'll see we've got our nitrile gloves on now. Don the specs in a sec as well. Remove the bleed screw from its port using your T10 Torx key. Put that somewhere safe and screw in your syringe which has 15ml of DOT4 fluid in with no air bubbles. Screw that up nice and tight just with your fingers and we're ready to move up to the, the lever. At the lever end, try not to forget your specs like I do, remove the bleed screw just like on the caliper end. And again, put it somewhere safe. And attach the second syringe. So this has 5mm of dot 4 in, no air bubbles. and we're screwing it into the lever, like so. With the syringes positioned like so, so any air floats to the top of each syringe and doesn't enter the system, because that's the whole point of the bleed process, we're gonna push fluid through from the caliper up towards the brake lever. Always keep the level above five mil. And the next stage is to pull up on the caliper syringe to suck any air out of the caliper. You'll see the fluid level drop in the lever syringe. So you, again, don't go past five mil. And we can repeat this process. So pushing down on the plunger. pulling up and pushing down on the other to pass the fluid through the system. You should see air bubbles come out and enter the syringe. You keep repeating those steps until the bubbles stop appearing. When you're happy that you've removed all the air that you can, apply a little bit of pressure to the caliper syringe. Remove it from the caliper. And fit your bleed screw. There's two parts to bleeding the lever. 
The first part involves pulling up on the plunger. Do this gently, otherwise you can you can damage the master cylinder, damage the bladder inside, and then push back down. Repeat this a few times. To be stopped. Getting any bubbles. Okay, now the next part involves pulling the lever all the way back to the bar. As you release it, push down on the plunger. You can repeat this three or four times. There we go. Once you've done that, it should all be properly bled. So apply a bit of pressure to the plunger before removing the syringe and fitting a bleed screw. It's important that the O-rings on the bleed screw are in good condition, otherwise it will cause a leak. And the bleed screw should be torqued to one and a half newton meters. Give the brake a good wipe down with some clean rags and some alcohol and put everything back together. So brake back on if you had it off the bike, stick the wheel in and have a good check. Make sure you haven't got any leaks. Make sure that the lever feels good and solid. If it's spongy, you're probably going to have to bleed it again. Perhaps didn't do the best job you could have done. There's probably still some air in there. But this all feels good, nice and solid. So it's ready to go out and hit the trails. Thanks for watching. Cheers. See ya.